Good morning everybody and welcome to day two of our Disney World Florida vlogs. Um, we are off to Animal Kingdom today. I'm still not feeling amazing but I'm hoping that I can do like a couple of rides this morning and then we're going to head back and we're going to have a rest and things. Um, I know there's not a lot of rides at Animal Kingdom anyway so we've got a Das for Navi River and the Safari and then we're hoping to do Everest and Flight of Passage. Um, and then we're not too fussed about like the shows today. We're just going to try and get a couple of rides done. Um, I don't really like dinosaurs, we're definitely not doing that. <coughs> but we'll see how we get on and um, come with us for the day. See you next And we are on our way to the bus. So this is a really good shortcut. You come out the middle of building four there and then you actually walk along this path and you can see the green roofs there. That's the bus stops. Such a two minute walk saves going through the lobby from a not a few minutes off your journey if you're over this side of the resort i'd highly recommend it and we are on our way to the bus so this is a really good shortcut you come out the middle of building four there and then you actually walk along this path and you can see the green roofs there that's the bus stops such a two minute walk it saves going through the lobby from a not a few minutes off your journey if you're over this side of the resort i'd highly recommend it trams are back parking lot trams are so fun you've never done have you they are so fun and I love this new security area as well it's massive crew security just heading in now grandma got caught in security and got a bag kept but we're through and we're now just waiting for her can't wait to get in can you no Christmas tree there I know I love it when the Christmas tree is I don't know why it just looks really plain for some reason yeah I know that's what it normally looks like, but it just looks like it's missing. Yeah, there's it's a massive plaza, isn't it, with nothing there. Yeah, it does need like something. a really big space, but there's nothing in the middle of it. So we'll wait for Grandma and we will head in. And we are here. It's pretty alive. It is pr I love Animal Kingdom. Absolutely love Animal Kingdom. It's normally our first day, isn't it? Matilda, our wilderness explorers. Matilda's going to the wilderness, that's more of a badge. And then we're going to go and find some of the gold statues. Oh, I could hear I could hear one going, making like pig noises. Yeah, I think that's Matilda. Yeah, 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 Kevin is just too funny. So we've just spotted a two month old flamingo baby. Another grey one. The man said it took about two years for them to go pink from eating all the stuff that they eat. Um, but I don't think we've ever seen a flamingo baby before. Wow, the line for Kilimanjaro Safari starts here. Oh my goodness. So that is literally next to Q Safari Bakery, the line starts. Luckily we had the, um, well we actually had a DAS reserve and then the DAS reserve turned to, to, to multiple experience, didn't it? What wait is it? 90 minutes. Long that though, 90 minutes for that. I love these little stalls here. Grilled corn, pretzel stalls. Matilda, come on. So, correction, this is actually the key for the night, <laughs> not the normal ride. Uh, the man did take it should only be 15 minutes up. Um, so, it's 10.55 now, we'll see what time we get. I actually doubted the guy when he said 15 minutes, but we're now in 11.07, so it's so far been 12 minutes. And we're just heading down to the final bit where you get on, so we've done pretty well. So the wait time that the guy gave us for Safari was accurate, it took about 17 minutes to get on, which was really good. Um, just got off, so on loads of animals, it was one of the best safaris that we've done in terms of animal spotting. And now we're walking over to Pandora where we've got a dash book for Navi River and another one book for Flight of Passage. Um, so we'll go see what we can get done around there and then after that hopefully Everest. One day, one day I will get to go in there. I know I never will, but one day I can hope Club 53. Club 33 even, the heat's getting to me, but <laughs> yeah, one day. We're in Pandora. I absolutely love this man, it's so well done. Amazing, the floating mountains. 
Like I say, we've got Navi River and Mouth Passage to do in here, which we are so, so lucky to be able to do that. Um, but I just absolutely love this man, so we're going to head into Navi River and then Mouth Passage. Just come off Navi River, that was an 85 minute wait, but with Lightning Lane, we were on in less than 10. Um, and now we're heading over to Mouth Passage. That's showing a 125 minute line, 125 minute wait, but we've got the DAS return time, so hopefully that'll be another nice quick one. We'll let you know the how we get off. Yeah, so right? Safari was 90 minutes standby, and we got on that in 10 as well, so we're doing well, 15. 15 doing minutes. really well so far. And we are off. Nice passage, how amazing was that again, Mrs? Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. You forget how good it is, don't you? It's just it such great. a good ride. Your it was grandma's favourite. The only problem with it was, was there was a really, really annoying family on with us who just kept shouting and screaming at everything. Apologies, well, we've seen it all the time, so we were all right. But if it had been our first time, it would have been really disappointing. Uh, but still, amazing ride. We're now going to head in, have a look at the merchandise, probably get a night blossom and then see where the day takes us. And this is definitely the time to come to Starbucks and not in the morning because it's like 10 past one and it is nobody here now. But I'm really excited. They've got the ice matcha green tea latte, which I've been looking for. So I'm definitely going to get one of those. And I'm going to have a look at what else they've got in Laura here. Laura has finally got the green tea ice matcha latte, the way that she likes it. Too it. Much and got a foam yeah, all she's now got a green top. Um, I got the double chocolate cream with cream, not the coffee. Ooh, I've got two ham and cheese croissants, really hot. And then I got a piece of, oh, that's warmed up as well. Mm. Coffee and well. cinnamon cake. Well, really good. And there we go. So we got a truck and two, then I head back to the hotel. And we've made it back to the bus move. We managed to miss our bus by about 20 seconds. Typical luck, um, but it's only about 20 minutes wait for the next one. Uh, heading back to the hotel, we're going to have a bit of pill time and then work out something to eat for dinner. So we will catch up once we're back. Wow, this leather's just been like projecting its neck out. Oh, it's not even doing it now. It took 40 minutes for the bus to arrive and then 20 to get back. So from getting to the bus stop to get into the hotel, it took just over an hour to get back. But we're back and we're heading into the pool area, aren't we? So it's going to have a swim and then go out for dinner. And here they go on the water slide at French Quarter. This is an amazing little slide. It's like a sea serpent. There she goes. You can see the serpent carries on all the way around. And here goes the big kid. <laughs> Currently sat in the hot tub all by myself. Like literally nobody's in here. There was some people in here and then they left. So now I'm all by myself. But I have just noticed on the list, it does say children under 12 must have adult supervision. So I'm thinking that means like children under 12 are allowed in here, which is good because Matilda's nine, almost 10. And she's desperate to come in here. We've always been like, no, you can't come in because she's too young. But well, it just says children under 12 must have adult supervision, so she must be allowed in. I would not obviously bring in if there was loads of adults in here and stuff, but I think like now and there's nobody in here, um, she could come in, but I don't think she would want to at the minute because it's absolutely roasting in here, like it's super, super hot. And you have to press like a button on the side as well to turn, um, like a dial to get it to turn on as well. Um, but it's literally absolutely boiling. Like, there's a maximum water temperature it can be 104 degrees, so it's super, super, super hot in here. And just like that, I got out and somebody jumps in. I really don't think you're even meant to be drinking there, you know. Look at her, she's like the lady and 
queen him up, whatever. She's just like lying there in a hot tub by herself with a drink. Look at this. Yeah, because it's been 15 minutes. Oh, we'll turn it back on. <laughs> well, if I turn it on, yeah. We'll turn it on. Well, we'll see. So basically, it's just lots of, like a circle, lots of chairs. You can go through this exit here to get to the playground and the main pool and the lobby that way. Or you can go through this exit here to go back to the rooms that way or to the laundry that way. This is the little sign on it here. So you can see where it says children under 12 must have adult supervision. Doesn't say they're not allowed in it. But it does say pregnant women, small children, people with health problems and people using alcohol. Now, cause really just may, that may cause children should not use a pool. So I think obviously like little children aren't allowed in it, but Matilda's nearly 10, so I think she's fine. Then this is where the shower is. So it doesn't really come out very great, but it does come out a bit. Um, it's just not great, the floor, but I'm glad I've got pool shoes on. And then basically you lift this cover up here. And I don't know if I can keep it up with my hands on it. So you lift it up and you just turn it around to 15 minutes. And basically in a minute it will start counting down and that means the hot tub will go 15 minutes. But I'm just gonna try and like see if I can turn it to like three minutes for Matilda because I don't want her to be in there for ages. So it's gone back off again for her now. <laughs> but that's basically it. That's like the little hot tub area. Really nice. Our original plan after the pool was to go to Disney Springs, but it seems like it rained and thundered a bit while we were having a shower, so the boat's off and we can't be bothered sitting on another bus that goes around two resorts before it gets us there. So we just got to take a nice imaginary walk over to Riverside. It's about what? Five minute walk? Five, ten minute walk at the most. I'll take a walk over there and see what their food court has to offer that's a little bit different. It's a slightly big food court, isn't it? I think I might get an ice cream cookie sandwich. Yeah, um, so I won't let you know once we get there. So we've just got our food. I've got the Bayou Ambrail Burger with French fries, which looks really nice. It had um, brisket on it as well. Laura, have you got the honey pulled pork sandwich? He said it comes with a honey pulled pork sandwich. Chips for no, it, on, chips on the list, honey pulled pork sandwich, uh, honey pulled pork, barbecue, sorry, honey pulled pork sandwich with chips and coleslaw yeah. so he said do you want the coleslaw on the side instead of on the burger i said yes please and he said you get your chips and um, just get them at the register and i was like the chips and he was like yeah hey, just get a new bag you like at the register and then i realized that obviously it's great yeah you forgot about fries yeah but you seriously wouldn't think that that would come with that and then matilda's got the chili bowl <laughs> that i had the other day so we've got to take it looked good yeah. yesterday let's see how we get on oh the price is here as well so it so. was 9.99 for the chili bowl 10.49 for the barbecue my burger and 12.99 for ants so in total with tax it was 35 dollars and 65 cents i'll go and get some cup room so for dessert matilda and i've just got this ice cream cookie sandwich and it is huge so you get two cookies i chose a chocolate chip and an m m one and then the lady said it was one scoop of ice cream i think that scoop of ice cream was virtually a full tub of ice cream so we chose cookies and cream and the price of it was including tax six dollars 91 cents i think that's really good value uh, so we've got to him, haven't we? Yeah, Laura's just come good. back and she got the apple blossom and the mold with ice cream. Mm. Ice cream is bigger than the pudding, but she's had that before and said how nice it was. Um, and so Laura's in total six dollars five cents for tax. And we've just finished our cookie sandwich, haven't we? And how was it? Amazing, Matilda's covered in it. It was that nice. Uh, so we'll go to him. So we are at Riverside, Port Orleans Riverside, and it is National S'more Day. So they're basically giving you graham crackers and any chocolate you would like. You just nearly lost your s'more, Matilda. Sorry. So Matilda's got plain chocolate, and she's like this. I got Reese's, then you could have chocolate with almond, or you could have, was it cookies and cream chocolate, I think? Yeah, cookies and cream. Ooh, so we're gonna see how it is. And just like that, here is my peanut butter Reese's S'more. How nice is the smell being in the Riverside? I still prefer French quarter, but the lobby here is amazing. It's set up to be like an old port for the cruise ships of yesteryear, I think, with the big ceiling fans as well. And it is really, really nice. 
And then just heading out now to start our walk back to Riverside, uh, to French Quarter along the river. And it's just started to rain, so let's see how quick we can get back. And we're back. We are back at the hotel having a chill, so it's now 20 to 9. And we've had a really nice day today, haven't we? Um, been really good until they made some nice friends over at Riverside as well, so we've really enjoyed it. Can have a chill now. We've got MGM tomorrow or Hollywood Studios, um, and we're doing Prime Time Cafe. Yeah, Prime Time Cafe tomorrow for lunch as well. Uh, we'll go try and find <coughs> Toy Story Land and some of Galaxy's Edge. So if you made it this far, thank you very much, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.